Hey everybody, Greg Cazillo from Cazillo.com. Dom Bauer over in Scotland just put up a really good video on cropping. And that's what preempted my video today. And his was really about um, being decisive and knowing where you're cropping through the body and basically paying attention to it. Now, I definitely agree with that. You really do need to pay attention when you're shooting portraits where you're cropping, where you're composing, and how you're doing it. I want to take that advice one step farther. And uh, you can take a look over at Dom's video. It's a really good one. And he's 100% right on that, being decisive and paying attention. But I, again, I want to take it one step farther. I want to show you exactly what I do, how I'm doing it, uh, not only how to crop and what the things not to do, but then some nice hand positions and some nice feet positions that can help your photography. And I'm sure this is gonna end up being a, a bunch of videos on posing. This is just the one of many, many that I have in mind of what I wanna do on posing videos. So here is the start, and this should continue for a long time. So first, what do you never do? What do you not do? First, never crop through the hands, never crop through the feet. Those are my two biggest pet peeves. You do not want to crop through either of those. It looks uncomfortable. It looks like you weren't paying attention. And usually when you crop through the feet or you crop through the hands, you are not paying attention. That's just the way it is, all right? You need to be looking at that. You need to zoom out a little bit. You need to take a step back. You need to look at it. Am I cropping those two things out? When I'm shooting a photo, one of the last things I do is look all the way around the four edge edges of an image and say, okay, what's wrong with this image? All right, is there something coming out of the back of the head? Is there a hand cut off? Um, so that's number one, never through the hands, never through the feet. My next piece of advice is not through the joints, all right? Not through the elbows, not through the knees. Now the waist isn't really a big of a deal, but uh, I definitely always crop above or below the knee never directly through it, never crop directly through the elbow, always above or below it, never through the wrist, never through the hand or fingers. Um, as far as the chest or torso, I don't really think that's a big deal. Um, I haven't seen good or bad. I've never really been bothered by a particular image. If it was cropped up here versus down in the stomach area or right above the waist, um, maybe just pay attention to the clothing. Uh, do they have a shirt that's not tucked in that you want to make sure that those tails are shown or um, basically like Dom said be decisive and make sure you're picking the right spot and not just basically not paying attention we've now learned what not to do not through the hands not through the wrists not through the elbows the knees or the feet always paying attention to those and we're talking about cropping we're talking about the edges of the photo by the way all right, so th that's what you need to pay attention to. So let's talk about the to do's. What do we need to work on? What do we need to improve those portraits? All right, step one is getting your model, getting your subject comfortable. And a lot of that has to do with those hands. If you have a, somebody you know, standing there with a clenched fist, you know, they are not gonna relax if they have a clenched fist, you know, if they have it down by their side and their, their fists are clenched or something like that, it's just not gonna work they are not gonna get comfortable, they're not gonna work with you, that's just the way it is. So that's the, one of the first things that I'm always looking at and always paying attention to is that hand position. Now, you never wanna shoot the back of the hands, that's usually a no-no, especially with women, you try your best to not shoot the back, always try and turn the hand a little bit, relax the hand and fingers. Placement like this usually isn't good either where you have that you know, that kind of real placed look like that. You know, you want it relaxed. You want to, if say this was the um, um, arm of a chair or something, you know, you want a nice relaxed position, nice nice curve, you know, just paying attention and it looks good. Don't want the fingers too far apart, stuff like that. You want them a little bit closer together, okay? Now in this photo of Caitlin, you see that she has her hand up on her head. That's another thing you never want to do. You never want to lean the chin on the hand. You want a nice position like that where it's, they're not really leaning, it's just kind of placed there. That's the right way to go. Now on her other hand, it's down by the bench there. You see that it's just kind of dangling over and it's a much nicer position. She's not holding onto the rail. She's not holding onto the, to the seat or anything like that or the rail of the chair, whatever it might be that's there. So you, that's something you really want to pay attention to. Now, once again, this photo, nice, comfortable position. It has a little bit of a turn, so 
uh, but in this particular image, it works. It's not something that you're really paying attention to or that you see. Now, it's definitely personal preference whether you have the hands or fingers inside of the pockets or one finger hanging out, and each image is going to also be different when it comes to that. But, um, you know, again, not cropping the fingers off, making sure there's a little bit of room at the bottom. If they ever did want to get the picture framed, all right, um, leaving the elbow in, all those things are real important. Um, once again, nice, comfortable position. You see with, uh, she has a nice feminine curve to her wrist here in this photo. Um, nice hand position, one over the other. If they do, a woman does have an engagement ring, do the best to put that left hand on top so that you do show the engagement ring. Um, I'm a little close on the one side there, crop, almost cropping off the elbow. A little bit too close for my liking. Uh, I probably should have been over a little bit more, but this photo had been composed with her on the left side of the image, so that would have made a difference. Now, with this image, I could, if I wanted to, crop in, make it a vertical, and cut off that elbow on that left side. And here's an example of that. Next one, feet position. All right, that's what this one's all about, is that feet position. It's like he stands there and he owns this position. He owns this park and this is his spot and he's just standing there and he's relaxing. All right, that's what that, that uh, crossed feet is all about. A lot of times, uh, sometimes I'll have him cross their legs sometimes at the knees. Sometimes, you know, with a woman you have him cross their legs a lot. Sometimes just cross the ankles. All right, so you want to try both of those with a lot of your portraits to see which one's better and which one's worse. Here's another very comfortable hand position with it dangling, notice his fingers are extended. They're not clenched or anything like that. Um, nice spot, it's natural to have the elbow kind of hiding behind the body. That's not really a cropping problem, that's just the way it was posed at an angle. So it's not really an issue in this image. But once again, the main point of this one is those hands are, are very relaxed and just dangling and that's the right way to go. By the way, the worst pose for guys is what they call the soccer pose, where they're, the guys put their hands together, down around their stomach, that's the worst one. Never do that, never ever. I don't even have a photo to be able to show you that. It's so bad, I, I always am cognizant of that. So never let guys do that. Just have them either put their hands behind their back if they have to, or just let them lay at their sides and pay attention that their hands, their fingers are extended and not clenched. Next one, this is a very candid image, but she had great hand position, and I didn't crop off the bottom of her foot, okay? When you're just shooting this stuff, eventually as you work on this, you'll start to see those little things, making sure you don't crop that stuff out, all right? I very easily could have cropped this and maybe cut the bottom of her foot or maybe her elbow, something like that, so you want to be cognizant of the frame, and again, looking around the entire outside of the frame as you're working. Now, there are always times when we can break the rules, okay? Yes, you want the hand positions comfortable. Yes, you want the, the body comfortable and a nice smile and all those things, but there's always times when you can break the rules. This is one of those photos where breaking the rules really works. Obviously, there's something natural there, and actually it kind of, it kind of works because it's kind of behind her knuckles and it's showing the tops of her knuckles, so that's, that kind of works. It's kind of is going by my rule of thumb by not really cropping at the joints. All right, so it's actually going just behind those joints on her hand. Um, so that, you know, sometimes it works. So it's a matter of knowing the rules first and then knowing when and how to break them so that it works. But it's all about knowing them first and foremost. All right, here's another good example of not basically leaving the ring, leaving just enough. Her hand is out of focus enough that it's not really a big deal that we don't see that much of the hand, that we don't see the whole hand. Um, if I had to do it over again or if I wanted to shoot another one, I might have brought her hand back a little bit, but then it would have been more in focus because of the plane of the camera. I didn't want that. I wanted it to be really out of focus, just showing her ring, and that's enough. Now, there are always those photos that get away, and this is one of those that got away from me. All right. I shot this photo a couple years ago of a friend of mine's kids. We were doing a portrait session that day for them, and she just leaned over and went to give him a kiss after I told her to. And I, at this instance, I was more worried about getting it sharp and getting decent composition, all right, making sure everything was in, rather than those fingers. If I had it to do over again, um, I would have hoped that I would have automatically not cropped out those hands 
but this is one of those grab shots where they just get away from you and there's nothing you can do about it. So best case scenario that I'm just loose enough that if I need to give it a better crop, maybe get a little bit tighter on their faces, something like that, I can do that and move in just enough to get a nicely cropped image, um, basically taking the original, what you see here, full frame, and then cropping a little bit in Lightroom or Photoshop and making it a little bit tighter, maybe go with a, uh, a long and thin kind of a crop, like a five by seven or maybe a panoramic uh, to give it a little bit different feel and not worry about crop, you know, the fact that we're missing half of the fingers or half of a hand there on uh, uh, the little boy's right hand. So pay attention to that stuff when you're working with your portraits next time. Let me know how it goes. Greg Cazillo, cazillo.com. Enjoy and keep shooting. Thanks, guys. See ya.